Sanatan. Welcome to another video. My name is Sanjay Prakash and today I will explain you some of the challenges in calculating auto roll of fields, roll of fields in Dynamics 365 and what is the problem we will analyze and also I will tell you what is the solution for this. Normally what happens, let's say you have two tables, right? You know about roll of fields, right? If you don't know roll of fields, you can watch my other videos. I have explained about roll of fields. So roll of fields actually rolls up some values from the child entity or child records to the parent. For example, let's say I have a payment header I have created. In the payment header entity, if I will click on uh, add record, you will see the form of the payment record or header record will open, right? In the payment header record, I have taken some columns, right? One is name, another is uh, amount and the third one is total amount paid, right? So this total amount paid is the roll of field. So uh, whenever the payment lines will be updated, this total paid will be updated automatically through roll of fields, right? I have already created a roll of field and only whenever the line amount will be paid, this will be updated. Let us tell you an example. I will give an example, let's say payment for uh, payment for Ram Kapoor, right? Payment for RAM, for example, amount I will give 600, right? And when I will save it, you will see the record is saved, but the total paid amount is zero initially because the, this is the roll of field and there is no child record which is updated, right? My requirement is whenever you create new payment header, you can also create new payment lines. So I want to create three payment lines with $200 each to, uh, to have the child records three installments uh, for this total amount so i'll go to so 600 means if i will uh, i will define three installments it will be 200 each with new due dates so i'll go to related and click on payment lines now here i will create new payment lines uh, for my payment header so this is the payment header i will give let's say installment one installment one and amount is 200 right and due date is this month 7 click on save i will create another uh, payment line with installment 2 and i'll give same 200 because i will create three installments and this this time this payment will be on april uh, 7 as per your need and payment header you can choose the same payment header right so you should not associate any other so that uh, it will not work properly so again you can click on new again give installment installment 3 amount 200 so what i have done i have created three uh, i have created a payment header and created three payment lines which is representing as representing as three installments so if you go to payment header this is my payment header for 600 and if i'll go to payment lines i will have three lines right and these three lines is having 200 and 200 each right my requirement is whenever someone pay an installment amount this amount total paid amount should be updated in the header payment header the roll-up field is not immediate right for example let's say i'll go here to the payment line and open the first installment and deactivate this so that i understand that that this installment is paid by the customer so as because this is inactivated deactivated 200 should be paid so if i'll go to payment header and i'll refresh the screen of the payment header it still zero still remains zero now this will create a problem right although there is a cal uh, calculate button if you recalculate it will automatically update the total amount paid through roll of field con uh, concept but what if you don't want to click this uh, icon and click recalculate you want to automate this automate calculation because as because this is updating every 12 hours and if you have done any process or any workflow that will pick up this value and do some task the value will be mismatched right because it is still not updated now you need to have some code or something like that some process which will immediately update as soon as any payment record gets deactivated uh, as because that is paid right 
so for that what I have done I have created a plugin right and this is my plugin and this plugin will run so this is the common code for every plugin right and here I have taken uh, the payment line entity information I am checking whether the plugin uh, is uh, uh, passed as uh, payment line entity and here I have taken a pre image I want to run the plugin on the status change of the payment line whenever the status gets inactivated then only deactivated then only I want to uh, run this plugin so I have to use pre image why I am using pre image because whenever you are changing the status you should get the status value right and you cannot get that value in the target right that's why I have taken a pre entity image which which is uh, which uh, is available to store all the snapshot of the uh, previous data set of the payment line and uh, I am also reading the payment header uh, from the payment line from this lookup right if I'll go to payment line so I am reading this payment header lookup because I have to recalculate the payment uh, total amount paid field which is present on the payment header that's why I have to extract this payment header information from the payment line then using calculate rollup field request we can immediately send a request to calculate the rollup field and here it is required it is required to pass the target entity this is my target entity uh, payment header and this is the rollup field and we are sending a calculate rollup field request to immediate calculate the uh, rollup field without waiting for the 12 hours to auto calculate like that Right. So I have taken this and I have registered in my plugin registration tool and given the message as update of payment line and uh, the filtering attributes I have chosen status code. Whenever the status code is changed only, I want to trigger the plugin. Then I have taken an image inside this and this is pre-image and I am storing all the attributes in the pre-image. So let me enable this. I have just disabled to show you enable now now once it is enabled if now I will go to the payment header just double checking now it is 200 right I will go to another payment line and try to deactivate once it is de deactivated immediately the payment header outstanding uh, paid amount will be updated can you see that it's 400 now I am not require. I am have uh, now I don't want to go this uh, calculate button and recalculate. It will it will automatically calculate because of that plugin, and any process that depends on this value uh, will also not break. That will that will not break because this is updating immediately. Again check. Again go to another payment and try to deactivate this payment line and deactivate this. Now if I'll go to payment header, then also it is updated, right? Now this way we can quickly update on demand uh, through process uh, from the child record. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this will help you in your, in your project and uh, the code is available in uh, GIT Hub freely you can download. Thank you guys everyone. Cheers. And also if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel because I am preparing more videos on technical and you can learn more. Thanks.